Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome to part 10 of House 2 of the Drifter Challenge. And if you are returning, welcome back. And in this part, we are going to hopefully have enough money for the house that I have built for this lot. And assuming I, well, I kind of know I do because she had done some more painting. I said I was going to do that and they're lined up there on the screen, if you can see. One, two, three were the paintings that she did and I had sold the other painting uh, that had been on the easel last time, which was worth about 2000 So she is now at 23 and I said if she had, the house was worth about 23 possibly with the lot, I'm not sure. But I wanted extra money because the house that I have built is completely pretty much unfurnished except for some a couple of things in the kitchen and it's completely bare in terms of the walls just like what they are in right now but just stepping back a little bit the rules are down below in the uh, description as well as a link to the detailed rules on the forums the drifter challenge was created by Vahisha Taknai and in this particular house too we need to have married an npc that was in an npc career mainly we need to sim in an npc career and that's what we did our hubby here cody we have to raise an heir till she is or he or she but in our case she until a young adult because she will take over for the next house and we started on a lot with nothing and we have to complete the outdoor enthusiast aspiration as well as having a house that will be worth it's two bedroom one bath worth a minimum of 40,000 minimum two bedroom one bath it can be bigger so uh, let's see and uh, Cody is happy but he's also feeling insecure I think she was just too busy I'm on the wrong sim I kind of she wants to go to bed but I think you need to uh, do some romance with your hubby to help him get out of his feeling. I didn't realize how much work this jealous trait was going to be if I was like not wanting to have him be stressed from it all the time. <laughs> but hopefully a few little flirts will help him feel better. I have to actually select him to see because oh good it was hours and now it's going away. It just took a little bit of romance. Not like she's not got enough stuff to do already. <laughs> <laughs> like a baby look after a house to build and a husband that doesn't really help very much so this house this picture is worth 2528 we're gonna sell that to the art gallery and <laughs> you're going to bed are you well we kind of need to age up our little uh, our our little one but I don't know maybe we just let her age up on her own because sell the art gallery sell to art gallery and who is that at the door and sell to art gallery is that a vampire we don't know it's another sagey so why don't you put that away and I'm thinking it's probably better to age up charity before we place the lot and it's Sunday evening let me make sure she doesn't have too much in her inventory because her bills are going to be worth are going to would be a lot higher if she had a lot she does have a few things she's got these frogs which we will do the usual selling and I am purposely keeping the few things left in her inventory there and they're not worth that much so we will just keep them but I'm gonna come over and have her harvest everything luckily it's a uh, weekday tomorrow so the gardener will come to look after the garden let me see this and then we will sell all of these things because I don't really want them. That was the whole point of me having her harvest them so that I could sell them. I might keep the strawberries, though maybe it's better the parsley. Oh, the parsley is actually worth more. I'm going to actually sell the parsley because we don't need it yet. We will need it. I'm pretty sure it's one of the ingredients that are used when you're doing the potions or whatever they are the from the uh freelance botanist not the freelance botanist the outdoor enthusiast aspiration the one that you do the with herbalism and you may as well sell these because we don't really need them and though they weren't worth anything the forbidden fruit have no value I'm gonna sell all of that stuff and right now i'm keeping these for 
a reason, and the strawberries I'm going to probably put in her... Uh, well, I guess she doesn't really can. I can't really do that. I was going to put them in Charity's inventory, but because I can't control Charity, it's a good way when you control the toddler, you can have them eat the fruit in their inventory, but at the same time, I can at least maybe if we have nothing made, it'll be there for her to offer to her. But I think even though the mushrooms aren't worth very much, I might just... I don't know. There's just 70 of them, which just, they each count as a thing. So I'm going to sell them. So I am going to put everything in there. I was going to say I was going to put everything in their inventory. She's sleeping. I don't know. I kind of want to, I think what I'll do is I'll just let her go to sleep and we will be back if something happens or in the morning one way or the other. Because I don't know that there's any point waking Charity up to have her go to sleep again as a toddler. So I'll just have her go to sleep and we will be back. Well, she's aging up. <laughs> I think I'm going to give her the inquisitive trait because I don't really want her to be independent because I can't control her. And I am going to leave her name as Charity. I did have a comment by Crystal Sims that said she liked the name Charity and I think we'll just maybe name one of our, our next child Charlie and the good thing is it doesn't matter if it's a boy or a girl. Though I might keep the name Charlie back in case we have a girl and because uh, I have another C name that's oh and look she's got her mummy's hair. She didn't, she's not a redhead. Everybody Jared's name, <laughs> Jared's hair is the one that seems to be dominant <laughs> I have to say. So she is cute. But I need to take her into create a Zim and change her outfits. So let me do that and I will be back. So here we are with Charity. This is her first outfit and I have to say she looks a lot like I remember Bella looking like as a toddler. And I will, if I remember, try and put a picture of Bella across the screen here so that you can see and we can have a point of comparison because of course I'm going by memory. We'll see better when I if I put a picture up there of Bella. So that's her first outfit. There's her second. That's from Cats and Dogs, that cute little cat outfit. And uh, the next one is this, which I'm trying to think. I don't know if that's... That's from Parenthood. And then we have... This one is from the Toddler Stuff Pack. So cute little outfits. And then one little formal outfit. A few sleep outfits because she does... She will be probably in those quite a lot. Hence why I gave her more than one of those. Same with the everyday outfits, but party again, one outfit. And these shoes don't really go, but I just think they're adorable, so I just left it on anyway. <laughs> so there is our Charity, who looks very much like her mummy, except for that I think she's a little bit heavier than she was. Maybe uh, Bella fed her a lot. I don't really know, but uh, there's plenty of time for slimming down if that's what happens with her it doesn't really matter so we will see you back in lib mode so now that bell Bell, i'm gonna call it because uh, seriously i without looking at bella's picture right now which you'll have already seen jerry looks like i remember bella looking like so hopefully i don't call her bella too much oh. <laughs> i am going to go and put everything into their family inventory and then i am going to place the lot i will record my sort of furnishing out and and whatnot of it and if there's a lot i'll put it up as a separate video they don't really probably have a lot of money to spare but I will if that's the case. But that would be up later in, uh, in video time right now. I'll be back very soon for you to see it. So here's our new house. And as I said, I will put a short speed build up of it or really a speed furnish as well as uh, the fact that on the main floor, even though it's a two story house, I haven't done anything really with the upstairs yet. But because we don't really have a lot of money. So let me get out of tab mode and you can see that we have 5,346 simoleons left. And let me actually, of course we're gonna have our bills, but oh well, it just is what it is. Our lot value is 37,720 right now. And of course it's just going, it's gonna go down a little bit cause we're gonna depreciate, but I haven't really fully furnished this. We don't even have a stove. We've got a really poor fridge still. That you can see. I have to go down. 
and uh, put the walls and cut away. So there they go. They she has. I left her easels outside because she loves the outdoors. I got a little slide for charity, but of course I don't think she'll use it on her own. She would use a ball pit on her own, so I may consider doing that because that's a good way for her to build her motor skill. But we can have Bella try and work with Charity with the slide and um, this is the new table and chairs that came with the laundry day pack and this Bella had got from a work promotion so I thought I would put it out on the table. It would, I would think it wouldn't be in the way when they eat because of the space so hopefully that will be the case and I pulled a little, left a little chair pulled out so that Charity can sit there and eat if she chooses to because of course we can't actually tell her and there's her picture she got from work along with the light I might move that down a little bit and this is their new kitchen area it is an open I tend to like open floor plans for where they live and of course I brought kept their old fridge and while we do have money we could upgrade it I'm not in a particular rush to do it we can earn a bit more unless we get like some uh, some uncomfortable moodlets or wishes for better fridges and her cooking probably is high enough that she could get a stove but I actually don't know what Cody's cooking is and that's a little why I'm a little bit afraid to to get a stove but that just might be something I have to put up with at some point. And we have room for a few more like counters over here, but it wasn't necessary. And I'll probably eventually put a stacking washer dryer over there too. And we have a tiny little bedroom over here for charity so that it's actually in on the floor plan, which during the build I'll have hopefully put a little picture of the floor plan and I have no wall color coverings but no one lives in this neighborhood anyway so it doesn't really matter wall co window coverings is what I meant to say this is still a preliminary rough build of what their house is so right now they're kind of living on the one level but they do have a basement downstairs which I got this light from <laughs> laundry day and it's just sort of there in the middle and that's where their mural is and the workout um the punching bag is down there and that can be eventually built out a little bit more and then up here will be two more bedrooms and room for two more bathrooms the floor plan itself had one bathroom and then I punched this out to make some more room mainly because I figured I wanted a roof over this because if they ever get a pet or specifically a dog I find that if you roof put roofs on the porches they're less likely to go right on the porch and more likely to go out onto the ground so anything that uh, has a little bit of a landing I put roofs over so that in hopes to with that and there is actually a patio out here I don't know if in the floor plan there was a door to it but I just figured you know with them with her really liking loving the outdoors it made sense to make sure that there was at least some outdoor space and it does not have a roof on it so hopefully if we have dogs they don't go out there because it's not on like the ground floor but I haven't finished any of this I probably should find out a painting that matches because this part here as you can see is open so it's a big loft type ceiling over here which I probably should put that here but I really didn't concentrate on the main on the upper story floor I just worked on the downstairs for now because you know they don't have that much money and this is all they really need so they've got a lot more than they had to begin with so uh, let's get playing though there's not actually a lot of time left because of my little tour that I did right now so let's check on charities even though we can't control charity we can check on her needs so I think what we're going to do to start with is we are going to and I did the usual uh, two potties I put one in the bedroom there and one in this bathroom this bathroom down here will eventually get a toilet and stuff but because we have a toilet over here in their bathroom I didn't think it was really that important to have a toilet over here oh don't want to don't want to <laughs> no you need to you need to potty train and you can go back to bed I'm gonna make sure he has to go to the bathroom why don't you go to the bathroom what does he want he wants to buy well you know what we are going to ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah uh. there's a go away we don't want you here Maybe we actually introduce ourselves. Uh, no, I can't. I'm on the wrong sim. I can't do anything with, with. Uh... We're awake. What are you doing here? Is it because we were sleeping? Go away. 
We don't want you. <sighs> Just leave. Did I actually ever learn the vampire? I did. <laughs> I guess I should set the front door. I need to get some garlic. This is... Locked door for household. No. We're all awake. Oh, good. <laughs> okay, you came to christen our house and you left. Good. What I was trying to do was set this as the front door, but I'm guessing... I don't know. Maybe it is? See, that says set as front door, so I'm thinking it is. I have another house where the front door it keeps getting reset. <laughs> I can't reset it as a front door, but it looks like the, the door I want to be the front door is actually the front door. And so what is he doing now? Well, she's tense. He's happy. He is nicely decorated from a good environment. Well, thanks for... Uh... And then these rugs here are also from the laundry pack. And they did split them out so you could use them as you wanted, but in the end, in this case, the three together actually fit the space fairly well, so I just left it as it was. I did start with one and then decided just to leave it. Normally, I think I wouldn't do that. Normally, I think I would do it myself. And they probably will eventually get a little rug in here, too, but, like, I only had so much money, really. Because I like to keep some money aside and so that when they can travel and Bella doesn't work for a couple of days she has to monday her there was a message just before we went into doing the building that the her family leave was over but the fact is she doesn't work for monday tuesday and so i'm hoping to get charity a little bit on her way so why don't we read charity to sleep how is charity is she hungry She's not really that hungry. She's more... She needs to go to sleep. She needs a little bit of fun. I'm going to actually pin her, her things because we can probably influence her to do those things even though we're not actually going to do it with her. Are you going to sleep? Oh, good. So, so they have everything... She has everything she needs in her little room and I put the little decorations from the cats and dogs and gave her a little stuffed cat and a uh, soft friend. But I don't know whether she'll use that on her own but I thought I would try at least. <laughs> it's there for her if she wants it. And uh, this wall is really plain. They need a picture over their bed, but, you know, that's for the future. That's just for the future. I don't think I need to reclaim the bed. I think it should still be set. It is. And what does he want to do? He wants to tuck in. Oh, that's sweet. I don't know if you're actually going to do it, but it's sweet that you want to do it. Oh, Bad potty guidance. So you know what? You have to go to the bathroom. Why don't you go to the bathroom yourself? And then why don't you... Um, how are your needs? How are both of your needs? That might... Why don't you... Uh, maybe you'll just sleep. Because your hygiene is not the greatest. So it's probably not the best time. I was going to say maybe woohoo. Woo but they're... Because that might help. Yeah, her height. Oh, do you didn't wash your hands. Maybe that's because I have that turned off for them to automatically do it and I'm not used to doing it. And I did put a bathtub here and I did a, just a regular bathtub because there's a shower here and this way if they need to or want to they can have the special baths that come with spa day. You need a standalone bathtub to be able to do that. So anyways they're all sleeping. I'll be back when you know anything happens when either Charity wakes up so Bella has to get up too or when Bella gets up. Well it's morning so I have Bella doing some fruit salad so we have some food in the fridge but this part has probably gone on long enough so I guess we will examine life with our toddler a little bit more in the next part because as I mentioned luckily Bella has a couple of days off from work before she has to go back and then I think she'll probably end up hiring a nanny or taking a vacation day. It depends on where Charity's skills are because of course I would like her to get to at least level three of all of her skills which I have to do by using a Bella. But they have a home now, pretty reasonable home given uh, it's not been that long since I think she started out, but that is it for this part. Thanks very much for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye!
This has been Jennifer. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. I'd love to see them. If you liked the video, please leave a like. And if you'd like to see more videos of challenge let's plays, tutorials, and occasional speed builds, please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks very much.